Longing for their homeland for 2,000 years, the Jewish people returned to find a desert wasteland. There's a famous expression in English, necessity is the mother of invention. Out of necessity to make this land habitable, the Jewish people have become the leaders in the world in many fields and have shared their advancements with the world. With limited fertile land, we became the leaders in maximizing agricultural yields. With little water, we minimized irrigation requirements by 70%. With minimal livestock, we increased by 10 times the milk production of each cow. With one source of drinking water, we became the leader in desalination. With no oil and gas, we became the world leader in solar energy technology. With no other natural resources and the need to create a viable economy for Jewish immigration from around the world, the people of Israel turned their innovative instincts to the world of technology, as the Prime Minister spoke about. The sad news is that Israel is also the world leader in the sheer number of terror attacks that it has suffered and existential wars of survival it has fought since its founding. Terror was employed against us before the state was established and will continue long into the future. Again, necessity is the mother of invention. Terror leaves in its wake death and mourning shock and despair, loneliness and a secret wish to die. Terror forces people to face unnatural circumstances, physical disfiguration to cope with, children to raise without parents, parents left without children, babies born without fathers, spouses without their other half, and children to bury, children who bury their brothers and sisters and a limitless number of other debilitating personal consequences to live with. The One Family Foundation, with its centers around the country, is the only organization in the world that has developed a complete ecosystem for the very personalized care of victims of terror and war. For each different consequence of terror, provided to every person in Israel, of every faith and color, indiscriminately. The Prime Minister spoke about Israel's innovation in the world of technology. One family, on the other hand, has developed an innovation in the field of psychological, emotional, and social recovery from shock, death and mourning, incapacitating injuries, loneliness, and despair. This comprehensive solution, combining many fields of expertise, has been developed over 15 years of tortuous experience, aiding over 10,000 individual victims of terror. One family has given Israel a new invention, a new solution to a growing worldwide problem. One family has developed a proven technique to share with the world, to make the world a better place. As God said to Abraham, your offspring will bring blessing, and advancement to all the people of the earth. As the founders of one family, we're proud to have an impact on the resilience of the people of this country, and we look forward to being a light unto the nations of the world. We profusely thank the Jerusalem Post and all who produce the newspaper that lands on my doorstep every morning, and those who update it on my computer every minute, for choosing one family to receive this award of recognition for our services to Israel victims of terror and war. We also thank our donors from around the world, our volunteers, and the One Family incredibly dedicated staff for making this possible. We will overcome terror together. Thank you.